Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to look at something a little unusual as you can see here in front of us. Uh, Jim and I are going to talk about solar ovens, mainly Jim because Jim is an expert on solar ovens. I have <laughs> used this sun oven myself extensively and so I'm a big fan of sun ovens and solar ovens. And so uh, we're just going to compare, which is kind of unusual. So Jim, you got a lot of solar ovens here. These are all yours. Yes they are. And uh, wow, that's a lot of solar ovens. I do a lot of cooking for up to 40 people at a time. So you like to cook? It's a pleasure for you? I love to cook. And feeding people a group is equally a pleasure? Yes it is. I love to watch people eat. And uh, so why are you using solar ovens? Does your, uh, you, you're in this nice uh, travel trailer. Does your travel trailer have an oven inside? Oh yeah, my travel trailer has an oven, but the oven burns a huge amount of propane. And um, if, if I'm out here and it's nice and sunny, uh, a solar oven not only saves me propane, but it cooks differently. It, it doesn't dry things out. It, uh, it, it's a more moderate heat. And between the various solar cookers, I, I can cook anything except deep fry and fry. Right, so you, you prefer that, I, I know I, because I've used the so, uh, Global so much, all American now. I, I like you. I prefer the taste. I think it tastes better. Food tastes better out of a solar oven. Oh, it definitely tastes better. And of course, it's free. I mean, the solar is free. I mean, you're not yep. paying for the propane. Yep. Uh, and here in the winter, it's not too. We're in. It's February. Let me tell you that. That this is all in February. So a lot of the questions people say are, will these work in the winter? I can set these. These two right here. I can set directly in the snow, and cook. And cook in yep. snow. Yep. Oh my, as long as there's sun. As long as there's sun, um, e even partially cloudy. Uh, the, these two are insulated, so if a cloud goes by for 15 minutes, it, everything's fine. So uh, the, the big thing is you can use these year round. Now, uh, in the winter, you don't mind turning, if you, if you didn't have a solar oven, you wouldn't mind cooking inside, because you like the heat inside. Well, yeah, it replaces the furnace. It, uh, uh, you know, make some cookies inside. It's wonderful smell, and, right. and but still, I, I'd rather I, I'd rather cook outside if I can. But it's not always winter either. That's right. Uh, so when it's summer and 90, 80, 90, 100 degrees, then you don't like cooking inside so I, much. I don't like cooking inside at all. Right. Not on the stove, not in the stove. I, I don't like cooking inside at all. So uh, here in the winter, it's. Uh, it's not such a big deal, but in the summer, being able to get this oven outside is a huge deal. That's that's wonderful. Yes. It uh, again, it saves propane. It keeps the heat out of the house. It keeps the smells out of the house. And and whereas cooking smell smells are wonderful, they do tend to linger a long time. Yes. So you think that the food tastes better? Uh, are there any advantages to the actual cooking itself? You, you cannot burn something in a sun oven because the sun ovens are in the, in, in the ovens, they're sealed. No moisture escapes. You cannot burn something. In, in these two, they're, they're sealed in a different way. But again, you, you, since no moisture re leaves, you can't burn it. Um, you can overcook it. You, you, you can cook a chicken until you can hit it with a potato masher. But um, you, you cannot burn it. That is a big plus. So you're not going to get that burn flavor, even if you do overcook it. Right, and, and you're not going to get the carcinogens and and things like that. You're not going to ruin your food uh, by burning it. And I think that's why it tastes better is because it's moisture. Oh yeah. And it, it holds those flavors inside it yep. rather than escaping. And, and they do get hard hot enough to do some caramelizing, so you you get that flavor, just not the burnt flavor. Well, a lot of people are then going to wonder, uh, if, if it stays moister, can I make bread or bake cake, cakes and brownies and cookies? It, it makes wonderful bread, cookies, pies, cakes. In, in fact, uh, cakes come out like uh, pudding cakes. A, a regular cake mix comes out moist and, and soft, just like it were a pudding cake. Wow. So it, uh, it just does everything well, as far as you're concerned. Everything but fry and deep fry. Fry and deep fry. Well, and that's a specialized thing most of us aren't doing. Well, yeah, and it's kind of messy, too. Yeah. And, I, and of course, we, we both agree. I think they taste better, and I think if you've ever tried it, you would agree yourself. So um, 
why four of them? Why do you have four solar ovens? They complement each other. Each one does something different, something the best differently, but none of them are the best all together. At everything? At everything. So they have strengths and weaknesses that offset. That's right. And I, I having a, a trailer and, a, and an SUV, I have room to carry all of these. With And, um, you know, come Thanksgiving, this one cooked a turkey, this one cooked a ham. I, I made uh, four dozen rolls, four batches of cornbread, uh, four quarts of yams, and uh, no problems. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, that's wow is all I can say to that. That's a lot of cooking, and you didn't pay a penny for any of it. I didn't pay a penny for propane on any of it. Right. That's just amazing. And that was Thanksgiving was November, late November. That's right. So it, well, again, it was winter. Yep, we were getting close to the, what is it? The winter equinox? Solstice. Solstice, okay. Yeah. And uh, so that, that was the absolute worst sun we could possibly have. Right, right. Now it does help that it was the desert. And so you had pretty consistent uh, blue skies. Yep. That does help. But most of us snowbirds are down here in the winter anyway. So there you have it. That's just an introduction to these four. Now we'll look at each one individually and um, and look at their strengths and weaknesses. I know most of you can't carry four. Uh, I know I couldn't. In fact, uh, I used to own this uh, Global Sun oven and when I had my cargo trailer. And when I sold the cargo trailer, I didn't have room for it. So I gave it to Jim because I really wanted him to have a very, very fair test. And I know how much you love sun ovens, solar ovens. And I gave mine the one that I had that was getting a little beat up to somebody else to use. So so things get passed around in the tribe. That's the way tribes work. Um, so we'll now we're going to look at each, each one individually and uh, and see what we think of each one, pluses and minuses. All right, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to begin our comparisons. We're going to do like with like. These are two very different uh, groups. We have four sun ovens and two of them are very different. These, as you can see, have big reflectors uh, going into a box that is insulated to hold the heat, and they're black. The others aren't like that. They're different. Um, and so the others are good if you want a fold-down flat oven, which you need it if you're a van or a car. You'd have to have that. But these won't be good for a car or even a van because they're really so big. Uh, but in an RV or a trailer of some kind, they would be just fine. So Jim, uh, you've been both using both of these for a very long time. Give us some of the, uh, introduce them, tell us what they are, and uh, give us some of their strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Uh, on your side is what is now called the Salvador Sport Oven. I have owned this one since January of 2014. Uh, when it's sunny out and when I have time, I, I use it daily. It, uh, it gets up to 300 degrees, which is its limit since the lid is made out of plastic and if it really gets too hot, it'll warp that lid. So that's, that's one of its limitations is, is that the lid is plastic. Um, it's designed actually not to not use the reflectors. You use those in the winter and in, in uh, low sun to enhance the ability to pick up heat. Uh, it comes with two three-quart pans and a thermometer and a, what do they call it, a wapit that you use for uh, sterilizing or pasteurizing water. The pans sit by, side by side if you're cooking more than one on more than one meal or more than one dish. It, it, especially with the reflectors, it heats up pretty fast. Now the inside of both of these are metal and it's that black metal that trans that creates the heat it absorbs the light and produces heat because of it um this one in the winter time when the sun is really low can you flip that around the way i showed you the other day oh uh... this is its winter position so you can see that it at, at an angle it's setting at a much lower angle so that when the sun is very low in the morning, it aims it in. When the sun is low in the winter, I mean, in, in uh, November and December, the, the sun never gets high. So between the reflectors and the ability to, to set it on this position, 
it, it allows me to, to cook very early in the morning and in very low sunlight. Um, in the summertime, I, I don't need those reflectors. In fact, right now the reflectors have it too hot and I should be taking them off or pointing it away from the sun to keep from damaging the lid. Almost, I, I cook breads, cookies, my favorite thing is ribs, stews, soups. Uh, it, 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 it'll cook anything but fry. Uh, I even roast eggs in these things and they come out like hard boiled eggs. And so how much does this one cost? Uh, the last time I checked it was 258 including the reflectors and the pans and the thermometer and the whoppet. Um, I, I think you can get, if you don't buy the reflectors, you can get it slightly less. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it actually, I, I've had it the longest. I, I, I think it's my favorite to use, um, but I don't, I, I don't think it's the best of, I don't think any of them are, are the best of. Okay, and so this one? This is now called the American Sun Oven. It does require the reflectors. It is a much deeper box, but it is very narrow. So in order to cook two, two meals or, or two uh, dishes in this, you stack them on top of each other. Uh, when it collapses, whereas that one, the, the reflectors go inside, this one, the reflectors fold down on top of it. as my lovely assistant Bob will demonstrate. So this is how this stores. Uh, neither one of them are, are small to store. E even with the fins put away, it's, it's still pretty big. With the fins folded down, it's still pretty big. This one gets considerably hotter, or is allowed to get considerably hotter than the sport oven. Uh, its limitations are, there's a leg back here that you use to adjust its, you use to adjust its, its angle towards the sun. It can only lift it so far Inside, there's a, a tray that uh, swings back and forth and allows it to become level, keep the food level. It can only lean so far forward before it, the tray won't keep the food level any longer. So I can't use this nearly as early in the morning as I can use the other one. It does, however, get considerably hotter, and that's a plus. It also allows me to use a much deeper pot for soups and stews and, and things like that. One limitation is, is the shape. I, I cooked a, a whole turkey in the sport oven for Thanksgiving. I, I couldn't fit the roaster inside of this to cook a turkey. It would get hot enough. Easily it would get hot enough. But it, it couldn't handle the pot. So again, they, they complement each other. They're, they're not... One's not better than the other. In my instance, they complement each other. Um, if, if you had to pick one of the two, you, you would have to decide if you wanted the higher temperatures and the deeper pots or the side-by-side -side cooking and the ability to cook in lower sun. There, 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 there's a bunch of differences between the two and um, you, you'd have to it's not as easy to, to say one's better than the other. I, generally, I like to pull all of them out and, and cook and, and cook for a lot of people and cook large meals. And um, I think this is my favorite one to cook ribs in in a standing four quart pot because I just roll them into a roll, drop them in the pot, put a little seasoning on them, drop them in there, and you've had my ribs. They, <laughs> They're great. Yeah, and I can do them in that too. It's just not the same. Boy, you, you want to try something wonderful. Sweet potatoes, uh, half a dozen uh, chicken thighs and a couple of sweet potatoes, some carrots. Man, that, that's a meal. That, that's wonderful. So when it comes to baking, would one have the advantage with the higher temperature of the, of the All-American? Oh, only in, in the, the time. I, I mean, that one takes longer to bake than this one does. 
Um, but it, it's just a time factor. The bread comes out Same. super, you know, nice and moist. It has a great crust. Um, there, there's nothing like dropping in a loaf of bread or, or pull apart rolls and uh, having fresh bread on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I like this one actually for doing cakes because I can set the cake side by side and they both come out the same time and they're cooked exactly the same. Uh, not that this one won't do it, but if you put one, one cake here and another cake up here, this cake's going to be done and this cake isn't. Right. So it, it's just a trade-off. And of course, I've, I've had both versions for over four years now, and, and I've had plenty of time to, to cook a lot of different things and, and learn a lot of recipes. And um, you know, I, I, I'd rather stick a rack of ribs in this, and, and I, I'd rather do cakes and breads and that. This one's easier to open. You, you, you move these two things here, you lift up the glass, very easy to open. This one's got little clips that I have to remove. Um, this one's easier to adjust during the summer. Uh, this one I, I have to tip completely over or stick rocks under it to, to make it adjust. And then I have to adjust for the leveling of the, the pot inside. Um, for, for you, if you're only going to buy one, you, you have to think of what each one does and, and what it does for you. Just like everything else we own. Right. Well, one of the factors is uh, price, and this one's quite a bit more. Yes, it is. Uh, this one, I, I don't have it right off the top of my head, but it, I believe it comes, the full kit comes with several three-quart pots, uh, racks, um, thermometer, wapit, and uh, it's over $300. Yeah. This one's under $300 with two pots, a thermometer, and, and the wapit. Um, so if, if price is a consideration and, and you really want an oven versus a reflective cooker, that that might be something to think about because really I, I can cook everything in this that I can in that and vice versa. It's just that I have to do it differently in each. Right. So just pluses and minuses. I think the big factor would be uh, do you want the higher heat or the little easier form factor? Uh, the price is higher with that one. The, um, the ability to cook with lower sun. Right. One thing I can tell you about the sport oven whether the reflectors are on it or not, I, I don't care if it's windy. I've seen that blow completely across the site. It never tipped over. I, I have issues with this one when it gets really windy. These will, will flop back in and out. Uh, I've, I've had problems with it tipping over. Um, I, I know the latest version, the foot that's in the back has stakes that can go into the ground it does make it kind of a hassle to adjust it throughout the day to have to remove the stakes, turn it, pound the stakes back in. So in high wind areas, this the, the sport oven definitely holds the advantage. Which of course is the winter, in the winter is the desert, is very high wind. And the wind is a significant issue with the All-American. It does not like wind. Right. Yeah, my joke is, what is your family if all you have is an All-American and, and it's windy, they're hungry. They're hungry, yes. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, too much wind and it's not working. Okay, so uh, we're not making the choice for you. We're laying out the pluses and the minuses, and you'll have to make, uh, make your own decision. Now, maybe you don't have this kind of money to spend. You don't have this kind of room for either one of these. Fortunately, there is another option, and we're going to take a look at those next. Yep, they're lighter. They're... Uh, easier to store, they fold up smaller, and they cost less money. Cost a whole lot less. So there are options. If if you if one of these won't work for you, we're going to show you something that will. Well, Jim, thank you so much for uh, tell us, sharing us with sharing your experience with these ovens. I really appreciate it. I think people are really being helped by all your contributing. Well, thank you. I'm I'm glad to do it. So I hope you got something out of this. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll do it explaining the reflective cookers. They're a little different and have a lot of their own advantages and disadvantages, and we'll learn all about them during that video. So if you got anything out of this, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later.